hey chalk nation it's your girl chalk and i'm back with another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did this super cute hairstyle for my daughter's sixth birthday so let's do it So I had to stop at the beauty supply store and pick out the hair. I had a pink pack of hair at home already, but I picked out some purple Rasta free hair and some easy braid hair and some purple ballies from the beauty supply store because she said she wanted pink and purple hair. Those are her favorite colors. And while I was in there, they had a whole press on nail section. So let me just show you guys all these nails. And when I say, I almost bought some more nails. I almost bought more press on nails, but then I was like, you know what? I have nails at home. Jasmine, you do not need these nails. Yes, my name is Jasmine, although I do go by Chalk. And my daughter's name is Jaslyn. So that's whose hair we are going to be doing today but look at these nails i was like oh my goodness they're a little overpriced of course um because they are in the beauty supply store so some of them were like 8.99 6.49 they even had some for like 10 or 15 dollars that you would normally see for like eight or nine dollars no more than that inside of walmart so i was like Y'all tripping with the prices of these nails, okay? I be ordering on Timu and she in for like two or three dollars, and then y'all got the kiss nails in here for $18.99, $21.99. Same nails you can get at Walmart for about eight to ten dollars. But anywho, let's move on to the tutorial. So my baby has very thick 4C natural hair. And don't let the shrinkage fool you. She has a lot of length as well. So I'm going to be using my favorite hair gel to use um, when I'm braiding or doing twists or any type of hairstyle on my daughter. So the first thing I did was part her hair from ear to ear. And then I'm going to use my finger. And yes, I did take one nail off specifically to do this because I hate how gel feels under my nails. It is one of the weirdest feelings. So I took my index fingernail off just so I could have a good finger to swipe <laughs> for gel while I'm doing her hair. And I'm gonna put it back on when I finish doing her hair so don't even trip. But back to the tutorial. So I put the gel in the middle and I'm using my rat tail comb to part her hair down the middle in the back. And since I'm starting on the right side of her hair first, I am going to part the right side, that section on the right, in half. So I'm going to go straight across with my part. And then I'm also going to swipe some gel and put it where that part is and then clean up that part with my rat tail comb. So I put the section at the top up and we are going to start with the section on the bottom by parting that section in half. And I applied the gel and cleaned up that part in the back as well. And since her hair is on the dry side, um, I'm going to be using some mane and tail detangler spray to detangle her hair and add some moisture to it before I start to brush it. And I'm using a detangling brush. It has like the bristles to detangle really well. So that way her hair is nice and detangled before we start styling it. And I did apply some gel to her hair as well and I'm taking a black rubber band and we are just going to make a ponytail. And I'm just rubbing that gel into her ponytail because we want her hair to be nice and moisturized for this style. 
so I did two ponytails on that right side and then I did two more ponytails on the left side making sure I have them nice and moisturized and then I went ahead and completed her parting so this was late at night and my baby got sleepy so I just did her parting and then the next day I'm gonna start styling it so all I did was put the back in two buns and put the top in a bun so she could go to bed and now we're going on to the next day where I started the style so my baby's hair is so thick and it doesn't hold moisture really well so the next morning her hair was dry again so all I did was just take some of that gel to refresh her hair and make sure it was moisturized and I'm taking a piece of the braid hair and now I'm gonna show you how I attach my braids so I wrap it around her natural hair and then I'll cross those two strands of the braid hair bring one piece to the middle bring her natural hair around from the right side bring in the, another piece of the braid hair around and then the hair is attached and then you just start braiding down that is my easiest method for attaching braid hair so when I get almost to the end of her natural hair I split that braid hair and add a piece of braid hair in with her natural hair and then I just continue to braid all the way down and it's that easy so we braided that braid all the way down and now we're going to do the next braid making sure I moisturize her hair and so now that we have those two braids at the bottom we're going to move on to the next section and this is where we're going to mix the black and purple hair so I want it to be a mixture of the black and purple instead of doing one braid purple or one braid black so I'm mixing pieces of black and purple and then splitting it and splitting it and splitting it until it's all blended together to where it's black and purple so of course we're moisturizing with that mane and tail spray de using our detangler brush to detangle because the higher I go up on my daughter's hair the longer and thicker it gets. So we got to make sure that moisture is in there and her hair is detangled. So again we wrap that braid hair around and we're using our natural hair as the third piece of hair for the braid. So we cross those two pieces of hair, bring that natural hair to the center, bring the braid hair to the left, and then we just start braiding down. And when we get almost to the end of where her natural hair is, that's when we split the braid hair in two, add one of those pieces of braid hair with her natural hair, and continue braiding down. And this is how the back is looking so far it's looking good so I did finish that side of her hair and then the next day I started on the other side of her hair sometimes I got to break it up in sections for my daughter because she doesn't really like to sit and get her whole head done sometimes she'll cooperate sometimes she won't this was one of them times where she just was not feeling getting her hair done so <laughs> We broke it up so this was the next day and since I did purple on the right side I'm going in with the pink hair mixed with the black hair on the left side so pink and purple are her favorite colors she loves yellow as well but pink and purple are two of her favorite colors and that's pretty much the theme that we're going for with her birthday this year is pink and purple so of course she had to have pink and purple hair to match so again I am using her natural hair as the third piece of the braid and then when I get almost to the ends of her natural hair we're going to mix a piece of braid hair with her natural hair use that braid hair to kind of cover the natural hair and tuck it real well and then just continue braiding all the way down and you can add you know gel as you're braiding down just to make sure everything is nice and secure and slick and I decided to add black towards the top 
to even everything out and so now we're on the front and i'm just refreshing the front of her hair a little bit her scarf came off while she was sleeping last night so i'm just adding a little more gel to her ponytail and of course moisturizing her ponytail and now we are going to mix black pink and purple hair in the front so I'm just taking a little piece of each color and adding it together and then we're splitting that up until all the colors are mixed together. And this is how it looks once everything is mixed together. So now we're going to attach that hair on, wrap it around that ponytail, cross those two strands of braid hair over, and just start braiding down. These braids are definitely beginner friendly. If you watch my tutorial and follow it as you are braiding or trying to braid your own hair or doing somebody else's hair, you'll see how easy it is. I know I have the video sped up, but it's really that simple. And the style that I'm doing my daughter's hair in is really simple. The braids are big, so they're not very time consuming. This hairstyle can be done in about an hour or less. And I didn't even dip the braids. All I did was make sure I smoothed everything down by adding some gel to the braids and using my scissors to clip off any flyaway hairs. And I'm adding ballies and barrettes to the ends to weigh the braids down so they won't be stiff anyway and i'm also adding a bolly at the top as you can see we're doing big bollies at the top and i'm just wrapping the bolly around and i'm not putting these bollies on tight because i don't want them to hurt her scalp or give her a headache so we're just wrapping it around and secure it and that's it and i'm freshening up her edges in the middle and we're just going to attach the braids to that middle ponytail. Since her hair is really thick at the top, I did attach two braids to this ponytail in the middle. So on this braid, I am just attaching barrettes to the ends of it. And I'm just wrapping the braid hair around and then closing the barrette up to secure it. And then I added a second barrette to give it that weight to hold it down. And now we're going to add that second braid onto the same ponytail. And make sure you add your gel as you're braiding so that everything can be nice and smooth and slick. So that you don't have to do a lot of cutting of the flyaway hairs after you're done braiding. Especially since I'm not dipping her hair. That's why I'm adding the barrettes and the balls and everything on right now because I'm not going to dip it in the hot water. The barrettes and ballies will definitely weigh the braids down so that they are not stiff. So I'm putting a big pink bolly at the top in the middle and those two braids are going to just hang to the right side of her face which is so pretty. And this is the finished look. I added some butterfly clips and... This hairstyle came out so cute. It was perfect for my baby's birthday. She really loved it. She was feeling herself. She was twirling and spinning and swinging that hair all day. And although the braids are long, I did style it in a little girl hairstyle. So it's very age appropriate. And this is the big reveal there she go my beautiful baby turned six and i just cannot believe i have a six year old and she is just the most precious and amazing gift i could have ever asked for i took her to adventure city for her birthday and we had such a good time we rode the rides and y'all let me tell y'all what happened to me y'all i had to take my wig off to get on the roller coaster <laughs> As I was getting on the roller coaster, the roller coaster attendant was like, ma'am, there's no hats allowed on the roller coaster. You can take it off and have it back once you get off. I start dying laughing and I just snatched that hat off and handed it to him. I'm like, can you hold my hair until I get off the ride? He was like, no problem. And we were dying laughing. I had to take off my hair hat, y'all. It was mandatory to get on the ride. So I'm about to put it back on. The things we do for our kids. 
<laughs> but we had such an amazing time and my baby's face was lit up the whole time and she was so happy that I rode the rides with her and they had a cute petting zoo and everything and she had an awesome day I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial as much as I loved doing it make sure you like comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video peace